So how are you doing? My name is Dimin Jay and tell me, do you like dancing? Yes? Well, what a coincidence because today's game has nothing to do with that. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It might be there, right there, in the title, lost in the dance, but it has nothing to do with dancing. No, no dancing whatsoever. So, lost in the dance. A game about exploration. Something like that, but no dancing. So don't you dare to dance in this video, okay? You do dance, you die. <laughs> Man, that's that's the title right there. You dance, you die. Nice. Hmm. Okay, it said that it was an exploration game, not a horror game, so this intro is kind of confusing. Part 1. Recognition. Ah, oh, that's good. She was awake, but there was nothing. She could feel the pull of the void, the sweet seduction of the blackness. Terror fills her as she thinks she may succumb to the infinite. But wait, she thinks. She sees something. Um, okay. The vision returns to her slowly, revealing a room that feels strangely familiar. Her fear subsides a little as she finds herself recognizing a few objects around the room. Okay, um, intro, pretty dramatic, I like it, I'm all about... Oh. I'm all about dramatic intros, over the top. Shitty as well, but like it. Ah, she's succumbing to the darkness or well, the blackness. Uh, you know what they say? Once you go black, you cannot go to what you used to like. Something like that. I don't know. Press E to open. Man, I. I <laughs> that sound effect, I heard that sound effect so many times. It's in every single game, ever. But I like it. It feels familiar. Maybe that's the point. A guitar. I kinda know how to play guitar. A little bit. I'm suck at it. I'm really terrible. Oh. She scans the words on the monitor. It looks like a blog entry. The thought of writing a blog scares and intrigues her. <laughs> scares? <laughs> Was this her writing? Probably not. She didn't feel like she had anything important to say anyways. Maybe once she remembers who she is, she would figure this all out. Hmm, okay, so it's a particular case of amnesia. Mixed with being blind for a couple of minutes. Um, okay, block. I'm trying to have a block. That's really pathetic. Blocks are kind of weird for me. I never get the block. GT videos, I do get those, but blocks? Mm -mm, no. Um, the door? Oh, yes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> So I'll pay attention to that, though. Again, a room materializes around her. This one she recognizes immediately. It's her playroom as a child. She sets out to explore more of her mysterious past. Mysterious? Like, what am I supposed to be like? A assassin? Like um, a hitman? Or hit woman, I think it's a hit woman. No direct memories of this changing table came to her as she looked it over. Just half remembered stories told by her mother and grandmother. <laughs> That's oddly a specific. The thing man. had been in the family for ages. She thought that it was kind of ugly, but figured she would probably have to use it for her kids someday. 
That was definitely not a fight worth having. Hmm. Changing table is luck, but I have a key. Do I have inventory? No. Can I open this? This thing again, she thought to herself, frustration rising within her. This black door freaks her out. She didn't seem to recognize that. Wait, what? What? This, this is a very important thing from your past. What? It says so right here in my notes. Very important to Anna's past. Okay, breaking fourth wall. Nice. No, oh, wait. You're not Anna. Ugh. <laughs> mm. Apologies. Maybe if she just ignores it, it'll go away. Doors don't go away. That's not how doors work. It's impossible to ignore oh. when you keep staring at it, lady. Fine. This one's gone too. Hope you're happy. I have no idea why you keep adding these things and ruining the fun. <laughs> what? Don't you trust me? Oh, shit. Come on. Haven't I been good to you? The two of us? Trekking along? Finding out about your past? Why do you keep coming back to this when I've been fairly clear that you should avoid it? Because it's obvious that I need to go in the door? Eh. Eh. Something creepy is about to happen. You know, now that she thought of it, she really did love this bunny. It's ugly. Maybe it was the dirt and stains that had made her doubt whether it meant something to her. But now she had decided that this floppy stuffed bunny was something of great emotional value. She let the feelings of sweet nostalgia wash over her for a moment as she recalled a few of the great times she's had with it. Again, she wonders about all the doors. What is the significance of the colors? What lay beyond this yellow one? She decided to redouble her efforts to find the key. I already found it. Can I open the this thing? No? Okay. Um, well, there's not much going on, so... Should I go through the yellow door? Yes, why not? I think I'm gonna die if I do it. No, I'm okay. Whew. Uh, just a friendly reminder, don't dance. Don't do it. Since she has been nothing but obtuse this whole time, she will get a choice. The key to the black door and the suffering it entails is on the black couch. The key to the white door and a blissful eternity in here with me can be found on the white couch. I know you'll make the correct choice. Ooh. Damn, this is gonna turn into a horror game when the the, door, the, the the black door, right? Eh, fuck it, man. It's fun, right? Just drowning in information out there while starving just for a hint of the truth. It's madness. It's it's not the way you were meant to be. You can help yourself by helping me, here. I have the answers you are so desperate for. I don't trust you. I can make this place perfect. A utopia for you to flourish. All I ask for in return is that you feel. Don't you understand? When you feel in here, I feel too. I need this. Well, I can tell that by the monotone sound of your voice. So excuse me if I'd rather go to the black door. And it's the end of the game. Damn it. That was quite short. That's what she said. Um, okay, what if I pick the other door? What if I pick the other door? Um, let me check. Everything is still recording. I'm telling you, I'm still having trouble with my stuff. Everything's still recording. So, uh, what club we run? We're gonna be here for a while. She was awake, but there was nothing. <sighs> okay, effort man, I don't like this room. Let's go straight to the door. I cannot go into the door. 
Okay, the key was I think. She right. scans the words on the monitor. It looks like a blog entry. Bye bye. This is around her. Doris look. Okay, okay. This one, one she keys. recognizes immediately. It's her playroom as a child. She sets out to explore more of her mysterious past. Bye bye. I know you'll make the correct choice. Mm, okay, I don't trust you. You sound scary as fuck. But. Ah, I knew you'd make the right choice. Come along. We have an eternity to explore all of your delicious memories. Oh, fuck, damn it. <laughs> what a disappointing way to end this game. And that's a perfect. <clears throat> that's a perfect way to end this disappointing video. So, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.